So guys, today is a special video. After seeing how well the unboxing TMX4 3 Deck Wheel video did, I decided to do another unboxing. This time we're unboxing a play seat that I ordered online, and if you don't remember from the TMX Wheel video, this is my current setup. Alright guys, if you don't remember, this is my amazing setup. We got here the table that holds the steering wheel. We got the Wii Fit board that holds the pedals so it won't slip. And then we got here the seat. I got from a dinner table plus with this pillow I got from my couch and then if you don't remember there was books there they're right there I decided not to use them unless I'm doing a longer race so I can keep them from slipping now then let's start taking everything apart I got the play seat right behind me on the on the bed well let's go ahead and take everything out Right, so before we start heading over and unboxing and setting up the play seat, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up there. There's a lot of residue there, as in from the table and from the dog. So I'll catch you on later while I go clean this. Nasty, all that dirt. Bye bye now. There we go, much better. Now, let's head over. To the unboxing. Alright guys, now you're eager to know which play seat I got. Well, now let me bring it over. Time to show that these days at the gym paid off. One, two, three. So I ordered this play seat online and I will tell you where exactly online I got it. So first let's open the box. Stupid ant. Thank you, kid scissors. Ah, now that's a beauty. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. I got the Project Cars play seat. Now we shall free him out of this putrid box. Huh, why is there tape there? Dolby is free! OCD me. Put it in at least the middle. There we go. There we go. You got the full box here. Yep. The Project Cars Play C. Yep, you know I had to get the Project Cars Play C. Favorite new franchise. Surprise, no? So let's go ahead and start opening the actual box. Time to put the us in dangerous. Careful now, these are kid scissors. You see that? That's the power of these scissors. Hoo hoo! Alright, let me just open this box completely and show, give you a tour of the inside of the box. Time to pick up the tripod. Alright, so this is what you see immediately. Uh, unless you open it upside down, but this is what you see so far. Nice bubble wrap, and uh, this is part of the seat, I'm guessing. Now then, let's take everything out of the box, shall we? Just look at that beauty. So if you're an imbecile like me who doesn't know anything about play seats, yep, this chair folds, as you can see. I was opening this and this thing just popped right out into a seat. First of all, I'm going to get rid of this bubble wrap. Bring the bubble wrap out of the way. Oh! The project car seat has fainted. Hey George, you want some bubble wrap? Here you go. You pop it. Have fun. Alright, also in the box there's these. I'm guessing it's some screws or something, hopefully an instruction booklet because I have not found anything of an instruction booklet anywhere so far. I don't know if it's engraved or something. Well, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find one. Alright, so it looks like Hurricane Irma came back my house again. So, I'm going to see if this is all common sense and that goes there or there or something or if there's instructions online. Well then, let's get started to building, I'm guessing. Hold up guys, I found it. 
I found the booklet, a bit bent, but I found it. The instructions, where was it? Well, if you would have bought this, it was in this one. It was behind that, hiding in there. Well, let's go ahead and start building this, and I think I'll catch you on later. No need for me to record of me making this chair. I got all the tools I need. This also came with the box if you ask. So, just like IKEA furniture, it's time to build it. A few moments later. Alright, so far so good. We got that chair. Now to do the rest. Right guys, so I kind of ran into a bit of a problem here. Here, let me just try to focus in here. I don't know how much that is, but I hope you can see here. There's some kind of weird... I don't know. Some kind of, almost like it feels like dried out super glue. Or even harder than that, but it has bubbles in it. So I kind of run into a problem. I only have four of these and that's how much you need. So I don't know, it's not fitting in into that one corner that has to go. So I don't know if chances are I have to go to Home Depot and see if they have anything that's like this or order something like this. Because, well, whatever this thing's on it, it's not coming off. It is hard in there, so I'm gonna have to see what that. Later. All right, guys, it is done. Here it is. I haven't put the steering wheel and pedals yet, as you can see. Just so I can show how it is without. So there it is. That thing that was on the very top of everything, it was the cushion. It has like Velcro on the bottom. And as you can know, this folds. And there's also zippers on the back here. I believe there's something to like, maybe for the height of this chair. I don't know. It said there in the instructions of what it is for. But hey, how about we start putting in the steering wheel and pedals. So I started putting all my uh, setup here. I got the steering wheel and pedals. However, I found one problem here. As you can see, this thing, while I'll press on it and everything, it's gonna be sliding. However, I think there's a solution. You're gonna have a lot of these left over these are the the M8 by 14s and on the bottom of the steering wheel as you can see there's some screws there and they fit there so I'm gonna go ahead and try to screw them on here and there we go they are now bolted into that thing so they won't slip and I also used one of the zip ties they give you there they have like at least 10 or something in there I use one of the zip ties to keep them there uh, I saw a place here uh, at a mall and they put this the wires like around but I decided to use zip ties since well I barely have any wire so yeah there we are there is the amazing play seat setup now how about we try it out alright test seating gotta say very comfortable not bad way better than my old setup unlike the old setup very very stable cause if you were to see with that table uh uh you come to try out the table you like the play seat there hmm huh? How about we look at the technicalities of this chair, shall we? So in terms of height preference, it's all done by these knobs. Now this one here, you loosen it up and you move it forwards or backwards to move the chair. Now what if you want to move the steering wheel? You just untie that one and then you move it forwards or backwards. Now if you want to move the steering wheel up or down, well it's all done by this knob right here. You loosen that up, move it up or down and then tight it. It's all that easy. You can also change the angles and the alignment of the pedals. It's all done by this right here. You take off the screw of course and then you set it to an angle and once you got that angle you just put in the screws on both sides and that's how you set up the pedals. So as you know this thing has zippers and it leads to this. I thought this was for height preference as well. Well I'm wrong. As you know this chair folds, well if you're a person who has the final destination PTSD and don't want this chair folding you and killing you for some reason if you think of that, you just put that down there and it doesn't fold. It keeps the chair stable from folding apparently. So now you may be wondering how much this costs. Believe it or not, I got this for $368 plus tax from Walmart. Other sellers were selling this place here for like $470. So thanks Walmart, you made me and my wallet's day. I'll put the link to this place seat in the description below. So if you guys have any questions regarding the place seat, just ask me in the comments below. If anything, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and I'll see you guys in the next video.